There's a new type of safety camera in town, but it's not checking your speed, rather whether you've got one of these in your hands or if you're wearing your seatbelt. Three new safety cameras in three undisclosed Auckland locations will be capturing images of drivers for the next six months, looking for mobile phone users and people without their seatbelts on. It's in a bid to better understand the scale of distracted driving. A huge problem on our roads, um, everybody knows that. You know, this is no surprise to anybody. We've got to get more people to see using your phone is risky, and then we also need to beef up the enforcement for the people that aren't going to make a good choice on their own. The findings won't be published until the end of the trial, but we decided to do our own survey. We stood at this busy Auckland city intersection for half an hour and counted 14 people using their phones. That's almost one every two minutes. Then, just as we were packing up, this car rear-ended a van at the lights. While we couldn't see whether a phone was being used by the driver, it served as a conveniently timed reminder how quickly incidents can occur. In 2020, there were 24 fatal crashes and 111 serious injuries where distraction was identified as a contributing factor. The crash stats estimate that you're somewhere around four times more likely to be involved in a crash when you are using a phone and distracted. The worst thing and the thing that can have the greatest impact on, on people um, crashing is when people are actually um, surfing the net or messaging or anything where they're, they're actively having to look at the phone, manipulate it with their hands. Police were unable to comment on whether they'd look to use the new cameras, but it's hoped the trial will prove their worth for the future. Enforcement up until now has been quite difficult for police. It takes um, a lot of officers' time and, and effort. Um, so these cameras, assuming that the trial proves that they work really well, um, there's, they're a tool that we think could be used to be able to help enforce and get people to make sure that they're actually doing the right thing without having to have officers' time used up. So while it's yet to be seen how often we reach for our phones while driving, let's hope the trial will prompt more of us to keep our eyes on the road and less on our screens. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.